Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Baja California Norte, this gorgeous resort. It's called the El Capitan Resort. It's here in Puerto Nuevo, which is not that far from Rosarita Beach. It's really a gorgeous place. I've got the morning briefing. We've got some information on Bluefin and so much more, but I've got to just make mention of how opulent this place is. It is gorgeous. It's got spectacular views, as you can see. And man, I got to tell you, the guy who put this all together, Dave, he's a character. I talked to him for four hours and we'll have an interview that'll drop with him probably tomorrow. But man, what a great guy. And he has created this little bit of paradise here on earth. And it is beautiful. And I know you'd love it. And they've got all kinds of spacious areas where you can barbecue and pour your drinks and enjoy a beautiful Baja California sunrise as I am right now. I did commit a really grievous error this morning and I didn't bring my Friedman Adventures coffee cup. But I've got hot coffee in my room, so it's time to start with the morning briefing here from El Capitan Resort in beautiful Puerto Nuevo. Good morning, my friends. Oh my God, is that good? Yeah, this is gonna be part of our, you know, discovering little gems in Baja, California. One of those gems, of course, is Playa Sal de Mondo, not far from here, but this definitely qualifies. It is such a lovely place that I know you and your family would thoroughly enjoy. My room is just gorgeous. All the rooms here are gorgeous, so comfortable. They all have Wi-Fi. You've got TVs in every room. It's really, Dave has spared no expense here. It's a gorgeous place. All right. Let me get you into what is going on sport fishing wise. Of course, tomorrow, day at the docks, I'll be wandering around there. Please say hi. I'd love to shake your hand and thank you for all of your great support in helping us to approach 2 million views. We're going to hit that anytime now. Also, over 200,000 hours of content consumed by all of you wonderful folks. Don't forget to become a Patreon member. You're the life's blood of Freedman Adventures. You help us to produce more and more content. And man, we got some great content headed your way here in the next 24 hours. Bill Wilkerson, who just took over the horizon out of H&M Landing in San Diego. Of course, I always love spending time with Bill. And on the horizon, man, she is such a gorgeous rig. She could do 10-day trips if Bill wanted to do that. Gorgeous, comfortable, lovely rig. And you're going to be able to take a look at it at Day at the Docks on Sunday in San Diego. Say hi to Bill for me. And Mike McDaniels. Mike is such a great guy. His wife, Maggie, a lovely person. C, Adventure 80, H&M Landing. That is going to drop also here very, very soon. Mike fished in Egypt and lived there for some time. He loves to travel to places like that, like I do, as you well know. And he has got some stories about fishing a hand line in Egypt that'll blow you away. He also has current albacore information that you're going to want to hear, and he gives a magnificent forecast of the 2023 season. All right, Paul Fanning sent me a note. I have no reason to doubt Paul. He's always right on with me. He sent me a photo of a fish going down in the hold on the Polaris Supreme, one blue fin tuna on the Polaris Supreme. Let me get you some spotter plate information to get you caught up. Most of the bulk of the good spots of bluefin tuna that the spotter plane saw were out of day and a half range, still a little bit far down. So, you know, I mean, if those fish are really, really, really deep, he's not going to see them. Maybe the Polaris Supreme is on that. It looked like he had one fish in the night. Pegasus is out. Polaris Supreme is out. It's a big day because the Freedman Adventures over under on the San Diego based boats this weekend is 25 bluefin tuna. Will we catch over that? Will we catch under that? And this is going to say a lot. But the fact that the Supreme has that one fish on board, I know it's only one fish. I'm not going to get too excited here, but I'm getting excited, okay? I mean, that is great news, and hopefully we're going to see more of it as the day unfolds here today. And maybe there'll be that buzz that day at the docks that I am anticipating. Either case, the season's underway and it's looking good. And we've got all these crazy weather phenomenons colliding that's gonna produce, I think, an exceptional enigmatic year. It's gonna be a mysterious year, but it's still gonna be exceptional because we have that La Nina forcing down cooler water, which could mean albacore. I know, I always get it wrong. Don't rub it in. Just stop right there. Listen to Mike McDaniels. He's got more info on that. 
he's tending to agree with me, although Mike says he doesn't think we're going to catch a lot this year. But take a listen to Mike. He's way more tuned in, way more of an expert than yours truly. And then we have an uh, El Nino brewing down around the equator, which could force warm water. So God only knows what's going to happen this year. It should be interesting. So, all right, we're watching that bluefin situation. We'll continue to do that. Even though I'm here in beautiful Baja, California, I'll be up at Day at the Docks tomorrow. So that is all very interesting and very good news. Now, one thing Mike did mention in his interview is he expects to see a lot of yellows around. And we've already seen that. Remember down there in Baja, California, we had a bite in Punta Banda down below. The, Punta Banda is Ensenada area. So 70 miles down from the American border. Also, further down, calling it, Mike thinks that's going to bite big time on the Forkies. And below that, at 140 miles, we've already seen good yo-yo iron yellowtail fishing this season down there in the San Quintin area, fishing San Martin Island and the coastal areas. That is looking exceptionally good, and I expect that to progress. We'll continue to watch that for you very, very closely. Islands up there in the LA Orange County area, those guys that have been fishing the islands are finding some calico bass. There's been a couple of white sea bass taken here recently. There's been some decent halibut fishing. We're going to get into some more rain here in another 48 hours or so. But after that, we're going to be okay, I think. Wednesday looks like it's going to be a very breezy day. So I want you to be careful about that. Keep that in mind. Now, the coastal areas here in Baja, of course, they're focusing on rock fishing, doing really well here south of the border where rockfish season is open but in socal it's closed until april the first which is a stone's throw away it's really really close we're almost there you'll be able to catch those great eating colorful rockfish very soon but in the meantime guys are fishing whitefish and sculpin and sand bass and calico bass and they've been doing good from san diego up there to ventura sport fishing and even up there at sea landing in santa barbara so that by continuing to provide excellent table fare some fun fishing remember you're fishing those bass in the winter time man you have got to pull hard so try to fish 40 pound with a big hook like a 5 or a lead head you're going to use about two ounces of lead in most cases we like opson usa greg brown should be at the day at the docks make sure you go over and say hi to him for us www.opsonusa.com. Put in F.A. Friedman Adventures at checkout and get a hug and a kiss from Greg tomorrow at Day at the Dock. So we still have that all going on as the season progresses. The water temp off of San Diego and Baja is 8 degrees cooler this year than it was last year at this time. Hmm. Albacore like cool water. I know. Here we go again. But there are some indicators that seem to point to that fact and there are fish being taken on the san juan seamount right now 250 miles from san diego it's not that far okay i mean that stuff slides down a little further and gets on cortez bank and baby it is going to be game on so fingers crossed it's really early in the year to be predicting this kind of stuff but what the heck it's fun to kind of throw a dart and see where everything lands. Surf fishing wise, down this way, there's some excellent barb perch fishing. They like cold water, so they're biting good here in Rosarito, up the way here in Puerto Nuevo. There's some good fishing. And down there at San Quintin and calling it, man, that surf fishing bite is off the hook. It's great fishing down there in that neck of the woods. So everybody, we got a bluefin on deck and there may be more as the day goes on. A little bit later here this morning, I'm going south to Ensenada, to meet up with my good friend Diego Nuno. Diego's a deckhand on the Royal Star. He was born on Cedros Island, which is kind of why I'm going to, well, I'm going to see him because I love Diego. He's just as nice a person as you could ever want to meet. He also has a sport fishing, a little ponga operation, not a ponga, he's got a parker, or a center council parker, and he's out of Ensenada called Costa Baja Sport Fishing. Look him up. And go fishing with him because he's awesome and he's got a second captain when he's on the royal star that runs those trips so anyway i'm going to meet diego because we are shipping more goods to mexico thanks to your kindness your generosity your donations more clothing more school supplies so much more so diego and i need to coordinate on that and get that perfectly orchestrated so it gets down to some people who really need your help. Not much of a safety net here in Mexico, lindo. So 
thank you for all that you have done. All right, my friends, I'm going to go back up into my opulent room for a little bit. A gorgeous sunrise here in northern Baja. And again, I'm here at the El Capitan Resort in Puerto Nuevo. Look it up on Facebook. Check it out. And of course, I will have a lot more for you as the day goes on. Look for that interview with Mike McDaniels. Run him and his wife, Maggie, lovely person, down at Day at the Docks and tell them you saw the show on Freedman Adventures and give them my very, very best, please. And also, don't forget, Bill Wilkerson, The Horizon. Go check that rig out. You are going to fall in love with it. You'll fall in love with Bill and his crew, and you'll have some extraordinary fishing adventures here in 2023. Thanks again, my friends. A beautiful cup of coffee in lovely Baja, California, here at the El Capitan Resort in Puerto Nuevo. It doesn't get much better than that. Feeling very blessed this morning. Have a great day, and I hope to see you tomorrow at Day at the Dock. <laughs>